everyone! In this video, I'd like to take a look at the Simmons-Smith edition and just look at some of the key points that help us understand what's going on in the mechanism and also how you predict the product you're going to form. So if we take a look at this, what we're going to do is we have an alkene and we're ultimately going to form a product that contains a cyclopropane. So now when you take a look at this, often the way it'll be written is zinc over CH2I2. Something that's important to know, especially if you're considering the mechanism, is that you're not actually dealing with these two independent from one another. These two actually react with one another, as we see over here, to make the organozinc carbonoid, which is actually what is going to be used in the mechanism to form our final product. So one thing to keep in mind is, if you're thinking about this part of the reaction, this will often say zinc um, slash copper. So the copper is sometimes written, sometimes not. All the copper does in this reaction is accelerate it. So it makes this form, this uh, organozinc carbonoid, a lot faster. Another thing to note is that when we're making the cyclopropane, the CH2 that we have here, that's going to become the CH2 that we have up at the tip of this. Now oftentimes we realize that when we're talking about a three-membered ring, it's got a lot of strain and so they're not usually favorable to make. But one thing that does make this reaction drive forward is actually the formation of the zinc iodide that we have right over here. So this, surprisingly, is going to be your driving force and that's how we're going to be able to make these cyclopropane containing compounds. And those are just some of the uh, little details that you might want to know about the Simmons-Smith edition.